Good day everyone, today we will continue with our lesson in block 10, lesson number 3. So how can we use division to find the prime factors of 12 using the continuous division method? So to find the prime factors of the number by the continuous method or continuous division method, we start by dividing the number by one of its prime factors. So think of a prime factor that we can divide to 12. Good, that we can start at the smallest prime number which is 2. Now we have here the smallest prime factor that we can divide to 12. So we have here 12 divided by 2, it is 6. So the quotient will be put below of our dividend. So 6 would become your newest dividend. After that, again, we will think a prime number that is divisible by 6. Good, that is 2. So 6 divided by 2, we got 3. So again, your 3 would be put below of your dividend. So the quotient 3 would become your newest dividend and we will find again a number that is divisible by 3 okay very good the prime number 3 so 3 divided by 3 that would be 1 so as you can see here we end up 1 as the quotient so now using the following we will find the prime factors of 12. What are those? That is 2 times 2 times 3. Okay. Is it easy to find the the prime factors of 12 let's try a more higher number we have here 30 again we need to put here the 30 in our right side and think of a prime number or prime factor that we can divide in our dividend 30 very good that is 2 so we can start with the smallest prime factor. So 30 divided by 2, it is 15. So we'll put it below our 30. So 15 is our quotient and turns out our new dividend. So we need to think again of a prime number that we can divide to 15. That's right, because 15 is not divisible by 2, we will come up with the second prime factor, which is 3. 15 divided by 3, that is, very good, that is 5. Now, we got our new dividend, which is 5. We'll think again of our new prime factor or prime number that we can divide to 5. So we all know that 5 is a prime factor already. We can divide it by itself. 5. 5 divided by 5, that is 1. So as you can see here, we end up again with 1 as the quotient. So we can see that this following prime factors are the prime factorization of 30 2 times 3 times 5 
So today our aim would be we will find the LCM or the least common multiple of two numbers using the continuous division method. So today we will have your activity with a two number. We will use a continuous division method to find the least common multiple of these two numbers. So the same as we did in our 12 and 30, we will put the numbers on our right side. But then we need to put a comma to separate our two numbers. Okay, think of a prime number that we can multiply or divide to 60 and 100. Think of a prime number that is divisible by 60 and 100. Very good. So always remember we can start with the smallest prime number or prime factor, which is 2. So now we can divide the following. 60 divided by 2, that is 30. Then comma to separate the two numbers. 100 divided by 2, it is equal to... Okay, very good. That is... 50. After getting our new quotient as our dividend, we need to think another prime factor that we can divide to 30 and 50. Good. We can start again with the smaller or the smallest prime number or factor. 2. 30 divided by 2, it's... 15. Next, 50 divided by 2, 25. So as you can see here, 15 and 25 is not divisible with the smaller prime factor, which is the 5. We will level up our prime factor. How about 3? Is it divisible? 15 divided by 3 and 25 divided by 3? No. So, we will come up with the next prime number, which is 5. 5 is the 15 and 25 divisible by 5? Yes. So, we need to put here the 5 as our divisor. 15 divided by 5, it is 3. How about 25 divided by 5, it's 5. So as you can see here, we have 3 and 5 as remaining. So we need to divide the following with a different prime factor. Why? Because 3 and 5 has no other the same prime factors because they are co-prime. So we'll start at 3. So we can divide it by self. 3 divided by 3, that is 1. And copy your 5. Again, there is no other prime factor or number we can divide to 1. So we'll go with our 5. 5 is a prime number, so we will divide it by itself. So copy our 1 comma 5 divided by 5 that is 1 so as you can see here we have the given prime numbers as the factorization of the 60 and the 100 so we need to multiply the following to get the least common multiple of 60 and 100 so, we need to multiply the following. 
we have here 2 times 2, that is 4. 4 times 5, that is 20. 20 times 30, 60. 60 times 5, it's equal to, very good, that is 300. So we can say that the LCM of the 60 and 100 is 300. Now that we are done finding the LCM of our activity A, 60 and 100, which is 300, we will move on with our letter B. We have the numbers of 50 and 45. So let's find the least common multiple of the following numbers using the continuous division method. So again, we'll put here the numbers of 50, comma, to separate the second number, 45. Okay? Think of a number that we can multiply, or divide, sorry, rather, 50 and 45 divisible by, okay, very good, that is 5. Because of divisible five with 5 is end of the, the 0 and 5. So 50 divided by 5, that is 10, comma, 45 divided by 5, that is 9. So as you can see here, 10 and 9 has no similar prime factor. So we will one by one them. So what is a the, the prime factors we can divide to 10? Very good, uh, that is 2. So 10 divided by 2, that is 5. Copy your 9 because 9 is not divisible by 2. So we need to think again of a prime number that we can divide to the following. Again, 5 and 9 has no common prime factor. So we will start again to find a prime factor that is divisible by 5, which is itself. So 5 divided by 5, that is 1. Now that our first number is already 1, we need to find the prime factor that is divisible by 9, which is 3. Okay, so we'll just copy our 1 and divide 9 divided by 3, which is 3. Again, we need to make them all 1. So we need to think of a prime number that is divisible by 3, which is 3. So 3 divided by 3, that is 1. So we end up with a 2. One. So it means that we are done finding the prime factors of our 50 and 45. So we need to multiply the following. 5 times 2, it is 10. 10 times 5, 10 times 5, that is 50. 50 times 3, 150. And the last one, 150 times 3, 150 times 3, that is 450. So it means that our least common multiple of 50 and 45 is 450. So, using the following, the long division rule, we can find the least common multiple as easy as we can. 
Okay, for the last activity we have here, if LCM of 2 and 8 is 8, what will be the LCM of 4 and 8? So we will again use the continuous division method. So we have here 4 and 8, so we'll start at the small, smallest prime factor, which is 2. So 4 divided by 2, that is 2. 8 divided by 2, 4. So as you can see here, our newest div dividend is 2 and 4. So the 2 and 4 is a divisible by 2. So we will divide it by 2. Again, 2 divided by 2, that is 1. 4 divided by 2, it's 2. We still have 2 to divide. So we will divide it by itself. 2 divided by 2, it's 1. And copy our another 1. So it means that the the factors of 4 and 8 would be 2 times 2 times 2. So what would be the LCM of it? 2 times 2, which is 4. 4 times 2, it is 8. So we can see that the LCM of 4 and 8 is equal to 8. What, do, what have you noticed? Right, the LCM of 2 and 8 and another of 4 and 8 are the same. So we found out that the bigger number is a multiple of the smaller number. So it means that the bigger number is the LCM of the two numbers. Now that you know how to do the or to find the lcm of a two numbers i want you to read your content book block 10 lesson 3 in page 88 or pages 88 to 89 then do not forget to do your activity workbook sit work number three page 15 so please Recheck your work before sending it in our Google Classroom. So that would be all for today. Adios.